So Bitcoin mining is pretty weird and it relies on some complex math. But people who want to invest in Bitcoin want to know how it works at a basic level, at least. So this video is an attempt to explain just that. OK, so in Satoshi's white paper, he included this diagram to ex help explain mining. So there's blocks um, that are connected to each other. And each block includes the previous hash of the block before it, a nonce, and a bunch of transactions. So this is what I'm going to try to get to explain in this video. So maybe you've seen videos before that explain Bitcoin like this government. With Bitcoin, miners use special software to solve math problems and are issued a certain number of Bitcoins in exchange. This So that's a pretty good explanation. It's kind of a, a metaphor for mining gold. Uh, you may have seen this Vice documentary that shows you what modern day Bitcoin mines actually look like. So <clears throat> miners work to earn new Bitcoins, um, and in that process, they serve to timestamp transactions, uh, and this forms the, the backbone of the Bitcoin network. There's a, a few blockchain explorers, like blockchain.info, and this is a screenshot that shows um, three recent blocks that were mined two minutes ago, 11 minutes ago, and 14 minutes ago. It also shows the number of transactions in each block. And we can go into uh, and see this live. Here are the, the live transactions. And if we go into this most recent block, which was mined nine minutes ago by BW.com, if we click on that, we see a bunch of stats about this block. So number of transactions, uh, total output in US dollars, um, the height, which is another way of saying the block number. We also see the hash of this block, the hash of the previous block, and the Merkle root of the block. And notice how the hash of the blocks has, I think there's 16 or 17 zeros there. So that's going to be important later on. We're going to come back to why that's important. Basically, miners are, are racing to get the hash of a block that begins with so many zeros. And it only happens statistically once every 10 minutes. So, OK, so a little background, the SHA-256 hash algorithm. SHA stands for Secure Hash Algorithm. And it's just a mathematical operation a long one that takes any digital data and outputs a 256 bit number. So that's uh, 256 zeros and ones, or in hexadecimal, uh, I don't know how many, uh, maybe 50 digits going from zero to nine and then from A to E or D, I can't remember. So the SHA-256, hash function was developed by the NSA and it's widely used all over the internet in security applications and protocols. Uh, you may have heard of SSL, PGP, which is pretty good privacy, SSH and more. So basically we can hash the text string hello and get this. And anyone who hashes hello will always get this output 2CF2 blah blah blah. And I'll show you how this works. Here we go, ha hello, calculate the hash, there it is. If we add one digit here, this hash is gonna completely change. We can also hash files. So here's another um, website that allows you to hash uh, files. I'll, I'll drag a screenshot in to here. And this screenshot here outputs this hash. So this is pretty cool because it allows us to verify that the data has or has not changed. Um, we know the hash of hello or any file is, is blah, 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 blah. If, if that file changes in the future, its hash will also change. And we can say, we can determine 
without a doubt, okay, that file has changed or not changed. And when it comes to systems like Bitcoin, we want to know that the ledger hasn't been changed. We want to trust that ledger. So really, what does this SHA-256 function look like? Well, here's Ken Sheriff performing one hash 256 algorithm by pencil. And now we write down the circled bits underneath here for our choice. 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. So this whole hashing algorithm takes them, I think it's 16 minutes or something. One round Almost 17 of the minutes. Shot 256 hashing. So how much hashing is being done by Bitcoin miners? Well, a lot. The hash rate in tera hashes per second, that's 10 to the 12 hashes per second, is 1,500,000. So it's just like... A stupid amount of zeros uh, today and this graph is a linear scale um, it was growing huge back here too we just couldn't see it in fact in May of 2013 someone calculated that the Bitcoin network could do more hashes per second than the top 500 supercomputers combined so we're really at astronomical levels of hashing so we're almost getting close to how how Bitcoin mining works. Um, in Satoshi's white paper, he went over how to build a timestamp server. And basically, um, he uses items, but he's basically referring to transactions. You can put all these all the current transactions into one file and hash them along with whatever history you have. That gives you one hash output which you can combine with the next block of transactions and hash that again. And this allows you, the, this hash output here is going to be the same as long as all these historical transactions haven't changed. This is how we get trust in the blockchain. And then Satoshi added one more brilliant ingredient, how to let anyone contribute to this blockchain based on how much they work. So the proof of work involves scanning for a value that when hashed with the 256 algorithm, miners are looking for a specific number of zeros. So as I said here, they're looking for 17 zeros. Um, so what are miners hashing? Well, they're hashing the previous hash they're hashing the file that represents all the transactions and they're rep and they're hashing this nonce, which is shorthand for a number used once. And basically what they're doing is they're taking the previous hash, they're taking the nonce and they're taking the hash of the new transactions. They're calculating the hash. If it doesn't start with 17 zeros here, we're going to increment the nonce and do it again. Doesn't have 17 zeros there. They're going to increment it and do it again. And that's all they're doing until they find some magic nonce that creates 17 zeros. And obviously, nonce is not in there, uh, nor is hash of new transactions, nor is previous hash. Right, that's what they're doing. I'm simplifying here a little bit, but that's that's the, the nuts and bolts of it. So, um, and then the final step is to, if too much mining power comes on the network, or as more, not too much, as more and more mining power comes on the network, well, the rate at which new blocks are found is going to go down from 10 minutes to 9 to 8 and when that happens, the code automatically self-regulates to add more zeros required to be found by miners. And that brings the heart rate back up to one block per 10 minutes. So, so I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, I hope you feel like you understand Bitcoin mining to a greater degree. And um, I'd love to hear your comments down below.